Hey, good morning. It is Thursday. And it's like 8 o'clock in the morning. And I'm up early. I'm going to have a busy day today. I'm going to uh, the wig office. Then drop these letters, get some stamps, drop the letters off at the mailbox, and oh, pick up my clothes from this charity. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to do today. Running errands. Man, I need to show this. I'm getting, I'm breaking out. So. So that's what I'm gonna do today. Uh, yeah. Oh, I'm moving my my products and all my supplies. I'm not gonna move everything, but I'll move probably these two things my products in. <sighs> yeah, this bug. Whatever you call it. Hey guys, I'm in the parking lot. Why is my hair looking so crazy? Hey guys, I'm in the parking lot. And here's my stuff. Right now I'm eating some Wendy's. <laughs> I am so hungry, like, Lord, I'm always hungry. Like, I don't understand it. Like, I know I'm pregnant, but why am I always hungry? I don't understand this. But uh, I'm about to go to Amazon Locker and get my tripod because me holding my, as you can see, it's shaking and stuff. Me holding it in my hand, it's not, it's not working for me. So I really need to like get my tripod and everything. Um. After that, I'm going to move some of this stuff. Um, I might wait till nighttime comes because, again, it's hot outside. So, wait till nighttime comes and just move it in because some of this stuff, I mean, this box right here is not that heavy. This box is not that heavy, but I, I'm trying to not do too much. <laughs> so, really, it's been all right, day. Um, hot day again. I can't wait till it gets like um, cool outside again because I'm so sick of this heat. I am sick of this heat. <laughs> so, yeah, that's all I'm going to do today. I drop Olivia off at her dad's um, and everything. So, she, she's doing all right. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna get my products because my products are in these in this box and in that, and I'm going to um set things up. So I'll be definitely back in business, like for real. Like, I'm already in business, but you know, just get my stuff in the apartment. <laughs> um, Cause we got time to go back and forth, right? So, yeah. So I got my tripod. Now I'm ready to go home and take a nap because I'm tired. But I'm ready 
to go, so. Whew. Well, I'm telling you, it is a workout. Lifting these things and bringing them up here. I was out of breath, I was sweating. I was like, damn, I must be out of shape or it's just cause I'm pregnant. But I came out of this door. And the back door. And I finally got the stuff in and I was happy about it. I'm just trying to cool off a little bit because there's another one. It's the box, but yeah, it's crazy. Like, whew, Lord. I should not even say it's okay to live upstairs. <laughs> I should have been one of them on the, you know, the first floor because, man, I'll tell you, but. <sighs> Yeah, I finally got my stuff, but I think I'm gonna set it up tomorrow. Um, I don't know, I'm going to church. So, I'm supposed to go tomorrow, but <laughs> I don't know. I'll be honest, I'll be a little lazy. I'm being a little lazy, guys. Like, for real, like, I just don't feel like going. Oh, like, why do we don't feel like going, okay? I guess it's good today, I just feel exhausted. Like, carrying these two items to the to upstairs and everything, but I would try to go to church. But I'm gonna try, I'm gonna set those, my stuff up tomorrow on the printer and stuff. Um, but my printer label, not printer, but Oh, yeah. Right now, I'm washing clothes. So, I'm washing the clothes that I got from Charity. Um, they also gave me shoes. I didn't, didn't notice. They gave me, I feel like, some flat shoes. But, I do have a video of me. Um, packing my clothes from the charity um my maternity clothes so really good but this winter this fall coming up i'm gonna have some from one to wear and while my belly is growing so. yeah so that's it yeah so i got this tripod it's really nice and it comes with a remote um, I guess it's for the camera and this sort of thing I get I don't know what this is but yeah I can't wait to try this tripod out I really like it I think this one's more sturdy than the one I had and um So I'm cooking some eggs, some sunny side up. Try not to have them cook too much. So I just woke up this morning, so I looked a little messy today, but my hair does. <laughs> my hair look a little messy today. So today I'm going to um going to do the um video interview. Um yeah, <laughs> going to the interview, but it's going to be on video, so I'm going to do that. And i um, also going to um, run some errands today um, and pick up my daughter from school. So it's going to be a busy, busy day today, so yeah. It looks like it's going to rain, but I don't know. That's what I'm doing. Yeah, Four pans. Hmm. I choose this one. I like this one. Good prices here. 
I need a pan and then I like something said go go to Ollie's. They might have some good pans there. I also got mattress here. What? I got everything here. It's like a Good price. That's crazy. Got furniture, carpet. Good price. That's crazy. Shows back for only two ninety. What? I'ma come here more often. For real. That's. So back in the car, I went to, um, I went to uh, the dollar store. And while I'm in these stores, uh, you know, I had a lot I was thinking about. Like, I don't know why. But, um, I have a lot I was thinking about. You know? Sorry, there's a lamp right here. I don't know what the bother is. Anyways, I got this thing, this um, drink right here. Um, it's olive oil. It's mango. I love anything that's mango. I love it. I would drink it. I would eat it. So, anyway, like I said, if y'all haven't already, y'all should check out Ollie's. Ollie's Outlet is a really, like, good store like really it is like I, I i i never been in there really um they have good cheap stuff everything is cheap they got everything every household stuff they even got toys there books they got everything it's like a big old thrift store to me but anyway but while i was in the store i was thinking a lot of stuff and i was thinking about my life, you know, how my life is going and everything. Um, I was looking for a job, you know, another job. And it's like, I keep feeling like, cause I am pregnant, that and this happened to other pregnant women. When they was looking for a job and they, told the employers oh I'm pregnant they never got hired you know what I'm saying and I'm thinking about how of course I ain't gonna say nothing about me being pregnant especially I'm not showing yet but I was thinking about how you know when I do start showing when my belly start expanding that they probably gonna let me go because I'm pregnant. Um, should I stay where I was at? No, 
because I think I did the right thing because at my other job, I don't think I told y'all, did I, about I left my job. Maybe it was because it was st really stressful. It was a labor job where I was picking up heavy boxes and everything. And they say, the doctor said, don't be picking up heavy stuff. And I believe I almost, well, I'll tell y'all in another video because I was planning to make another video about what happened, you know. But it was for a good cause. So, um... I just think about my life and how every time I turn around I get these hard jobs like these labor jobs that back breaking jobs like I never get a job that's a little relaxing and you know sitting at a desk or office job I never get those kind of jobs I always end up with a job that's too much on my body you know what I'm saying and it's like all my life that's why I have aches and pains you know and I'm not even doing nothing not having aches and pains but I just think about how man I wish I was like just working for myself and it's you know doing things for myself like I do have a business but it's like you know it's not like you know, you see on YouTube how these entrepreneurs be making a whole lot and they be, but their business is booming and they got so many inventory and all that stuff. And it's like, you know, you shouldn't, you should never compare yourself to other people, but it's like, it's a little frustrating where you first start and it's like, it's not like that. Like you, you want that dream. You want that where I could just, I'd rather just be at home and, and fulfill orders all day than go out at a job breaking my back for a little change and I still can't pay the bills. You know what I'm saying? If y'all understand what I'm saying, like, I just want to, like, be able to be with my kids because my, my daughter getting older I have this little one, I have this little baby in my stomach, and I honestly just, just, you know, planning my life how I just don't want to put my child in daycare, because I hear so many horror stories, and plus daycare is so expensive, it's like $300 every week for a newborn, for a newborn baby. Like, that is too much. And that's why a lot of people are staying at home because they don't have money like that. It's like a 300 a week. That is like a rent. That is like you're paying rent right there. Like, it's not cheap. And then, yes, you do have government assistance where, you know, they help you with daycare. But you have to be on some waiting list. Like, it's a long waiting list. And it takes a long time. So it's like, I I feel like once this baby's born, it's like, I just don't feel like I don't trust nobody to, to watch my child. Like, you understand? I don't trust them, you know? I was like that with Olivia too, but I wasn't really thinking like I'm thinking now. Like, I just really wish I could work for me where I'm getting money and I still stay home with my children. I really want to like be a stay at home mom where I can stay at home with my kids, make money, and I still have that time with my kids. You know, because who wants to? Because maternity leave here in the United States is really terrible because after you have your baby, they only give you six weeks to be with your newborn six weeks that's not enough really that's not enough time to be with your baby and then you gotta go right back to work six weeks that's it and, and it's unpaid leave so you're not getting paid for those six weeks 
in other countries it's up to one year and you get paid you could be with your child for one year and you could get paid for it but here six weeks and some people said four weeks or, or less um some some women had to go back to work two weeks after birth like that's terrible like i had no time to spend with my newborn baby and that would make me upset like you know then you gotta find daycare and then find trust somebody to you know they're not gonna do nothing bad to your child or then they're not going to you know they do their job but you, you hear on the news all these daycare workers leaving the kids there and hitting them or hurting them and you know, I don't want I don't want that for my child, for my newborn, you know what I'm saying? Or my my older child. Like I don't trust nobody. Like I really don't trust no one. Like for real. And I like it's just a lot I'm thinking about when it comes to this stuff. Like it's frustrating because it's like feel like I'm in a little you would say like a little, what do you call it, circle. I'm going around a circle. I'm going around a hamster wheel where I always end up with these jobs where I got to bust my tail. You know what I'm saying? And I feel when I get older, I'm going to have really issues with my joints and issues with my muscles because I've been working so much where I, you know, I, I'm... I'm wearing out my muscles and my my body, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm young, but when I get older, uh, what if I have where I can't move like I should, you know, no more, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, I really like looking back at my life and it's it's so bad. I want, you know, I want to be an entrepreneur so bad. I, I, I end up crying, like I feel so emotional and everything and I'm working towards that but you know you feel like something that's not working fast enough you know what I'm saying everything's so slow like I just started and I feel like when I see other people do it it's like damn they fast like they can they can order to get customers so fast they get order so fast but at the end they had that following already but you know, you don't know how long they've been in business. You don't know how long, hard they work for it, you know. And I wish I had the same thing. And I really, I'm to the point I really don't want, I just don't want to work another job. I just don't. I mean, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't want to work another job. Because, like I said, every job I end up with, it's like an Amazon top type job. Like I gotta pick or I gotta pack. I gotta lift a heavy ass box. I mean, lift a box. Excuse my language. I got to do all that stuff, and at home, and then when I get home, I'm tired, and my body hurts, my body aches, and I'm tired of jobs like that. I really am. And it's like it's hard to get like an office job. It's hard to get a work from home job. I'm trying. I applied. I don't hear from nobody, or it's just, you know, they're hiring no more. It's like, it's hard, you know what I'm saying? It's really hard. But, I, you know, I just, that's what I want. Especially now, I'm going to be a mama too. I want to be able to take Olivia to school every day, pick her up every day. And, you know, straighten up the house or whatever. You know, a stay-at-home mom. You know, I you know I get a little... Like, I see on here, stay-at-home moms. And I'll be like, dang, I wish I, I was like that, you know? I'd rather, like, stay at home, take care of my kids, cook and clean and all that stuff. Because it's more than staying at home, you got to do stuff at home. And I'd rather do stuff at home and bust my butt at these jobs really because these jobs don't care they will replace you in a second and especially they find out you're pregnant 
they could let you go they can let you go without telling you why you know they could get you, let you go at any time and I know it's illegal to you know discriminate a woman that's pregnant but if some companies let you go without even telling you why you know and you know why you really know why and a lot of these companies you know don't want to hire a pregnant woman because they know that she ain't gonna be there long and it's like a liability or whatever on their company so really i got a lot to think about um i really do it's just it's i don't know why i had all these thoughts come in when i was at ali store but that's what i'm thinking about right now like it's it's really it's hard out here it is and I do hope and pray that my business will prosper you know I'm working on it very hard I'm planning a lot you know I'm doing the best I can so I never had family members who work for themselves they always had work with someone else you know I only have one which is my auntie but she still had to work for other people too so it's just it's hard and they said oh why don't you have your own business and stuff and I'm like y'all it's not easy it's not easy when you first start your own business it's not easy it's gonna get hard you know what I'm saying so yeah thanks for listening to my rant because yeah that's how I feel right now so I'm about to go and pick something up and get my daughter some.